another episode of creative ideas with modular uh, on this second episode uh, we are going to talk about something very simple just like the first one um, but it is something that I've uh, noticed that it happens quite often with me so I wanted to propose that as an idea um, I have these creative ideas written down in case I'm uh, having a, a difficult day and I don't know where to start it's just going through them and it just one of them goes like ping and then you're just no that's the one so this one is uh, is, is uh, very simple as um, I was in a forum I was reading uh, somebody had an idea and he was sharing that idea and he said uh, okay why don't you just run a simple envelope or LFO through the VCFK here I don't know if you can see it uh, it's just here on the limit this way yeah sorry for that camera today um, I haven't figured out a way to film that modular spaceship yet but anyway VCFQ you know what it is um, so yeah so run a simple envelope or LFO through the VCFQ in low mode in low mode there's a high mode and a low mode and um, taking the low pass to open a VCA so yeah not very difficult isn't it well I never thought about that I literally never thought about that so using the filter not as a filter but using the filter as a CV uh, control as a CV generator and <laughs> some incredible things happened and of course uh, um, I did what um, that uh, what I read I did it and it didn't really resonate with me so much uh, especially because I uh, went into my make noise system and I went to the Optomix which is a very uh, special type of VCA and I love to ping it, I love to strike it, sorry ping it is the wrong word I love to strike it and that's what it's made for also and um, so I thought okay I'm not gonna use that to open up the VCA, I'm not gonna use the, the CV from the filter to open up a VCA, but I can use it as a CV uh, modulation. Uh, so in this patch, I'm clocking, I'm striking the uh, sound, the final output from the DPO, I'm striking it with a clock from Echophone, and um, I'm using the 
output, all four outputs of the VCFQ filter are going into various places. The one is going into the fold of the DPO, the other one is going to the angle, and the other one is going to shape, and the fourth one... I don't know. Where is the fourth one going? Oh yeah, of course. Then I thought, okay, I'm getting this crazy sound with a lot of... You hear it, it's kind of like acid, but it's just much better than that. It's much more rich and it has a lot of variation and, and wonderful unexpected things. And I thought, uh, why not use the Q-Pass as a real filter? And I'm sending the same final output from the DPO into the Q-Pass and then I'm modulating the two sides, the uh, rad yeah, the radiate uh, right and left, with the envelopes that are actually going into the filter, and also I'm sending the output of the filter, one of the outputs, into the frequency of the filter, and the Q, the resonance of the Q pass, as you know already. I guess it's very special. It just creates this uh, very interesting percussive sounds. So yeah, you you heard in the beginning of this video how it sounds like, and um, what I did is I also added some reverb and some uh, distortion. Uh, somewhere you hear it in the beginning that I'm just doing that I'm just adding some reverb and distortion and um, that's how I created this sound and you can just play with the mimeophone mimeophone sorry mimeophone and you can just yeah open it up I like that it's like high feedback really fast delays I have a feeling I have a feeling the echo phone will be great for that as well because it's also clocking the whole thing so you can just send the same sound or from the cue pass one of the outputs you can go to the echo phone and then take the outputs send it into your mixer and you just mix all this together what a joy this modular world just a simple idea uh, of somebody that I've read on the forum uh, thank you uh, whoever you are but it happens quite often I just see something and I'm thinking hey I've never tried this one I'll just try it and of course very fast it happens that I'm just going my own way I just started and I'm thinking, ah, well, I don't really have this module that they say, or I don't like the result. I'm like thinking, okay, I, I mean, if I send this there, it just doesn't sound good. I don't like it. And then, but I can send it there and I'm just getting ideas and ideas. So again, this creative idea is about the beginning. It's just the, the, initial, the initial idea, something that um, opens up this lump in your head and it goes flushing and you go and you have a lot of fun so yeah I want to keep this short because it's simple just take ideas of people and give them uh, a try out especially if they are simple ideas that you've never tried before and also if they don't have a recording it's totally fine because usually people just put a recording out there which they um, worked and worked and reworked and it sounds great but um, it's just better to just go blindly into it because you shouldn't expect anything you should just be open to anything so that's my uh, idea and my uh, advice so uh, well be great to see if uh, if it takes you somewhere creatively uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye Thank <laughs> you.